warm welcome to morning prayer here at St George's Paris. Today uh, the psalm appointed is Psalm 55 and uh, for our canticle I'm going to be using Canticle 23, a song of Solomon. I appreciate you might not be able to find it uh, on your device um, but if you've got um, a book it's Psalm, it's Canticle 23, a song of Solomon. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and sh shall be for ever. Amen. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his fierce anger. For these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears. For a comforter is far from me, one to revive my courage. Remember my affliction and my bitterness, the wormwood and the gall. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that we should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. For the Lord will not reject for ever. Though he causes grief, he will have compassion, according to the abundance of his steadfast love for he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 55 Hear my prayer, O God, hide not yourself from my petition. Give heed to me and answer me, I am restless in my complaining. I am alarmed at the voice of the enemy and at the clamour of the wicked, for they would bring down evil upon me and are set against me in fury. My heart is disquieted within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and a horrible dread has overwhelmed me. And I said, O oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Then would I flee far away and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would make haste to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Confuse their tongues, O Lord, and divide them, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about on her walls, mischief and trouble are in her midst. Wickedness walks in her streets. Oppression and guile never leave her squares. For it was not an open enemy that reviled me, for then I could have borne it. Nor was it my adversary that puffed himself up against me, for then I would have hid myself from him. But it was even you, one like myself, my companion and my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked in the multitude of the house of God. Let death come suddenly upon them. Let them go down alive to the pit. For wickedness inhabits their dwellings, their very hearts. As for me, I will call upon the God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening and morning and at noonday, I will pray and make my supplication, and he shall hear my voice. He shall redeem my soul in peace from the battle waged against me, for many have come upon me. God, who is throned of old, will hear and bring them down. They will not repent, for they have no fear of God. My companion stretched out his hands against his friend and has broken his covenant. His speech was softer than butter, though war was in his heart. His words were smoother than oil, yet are they naked swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you, and will not let the righteous fall for ever. But those who are bloodthirsty and deceitful of God, you will bring down to the pit of destruction. 
They shall not live out half their days, but my trust shall be in you, O Lord. Lord, in all times of fear and dread, grant that we may so cast our burdens upon you, that you may bear us on the holy wings of the Spirit to the stronghold of your peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Canticle 22.3, Song of Solomon. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Set me as a seal upon your head, upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, beginning to read and verse 3. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as children. My child, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines those whom he loves, and chastises every child whom he accepts. Endure trials for the sake of discipline. God is treating you as children, for what child is there whom a parent does not discipline? If you do not have that discipline which all children share, then you are illegitimate and not his children. Moreover, we have human parents to discipline us, and we respected them. Should we not be even more willing to be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time and seemed best to them. But he disciplines us for our good, in order that we might sh may share his holiness. Now, discipline always seems painful rather than pleasant at the time, and late but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved it is the power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved it is the power of God. So let us pray for God's church and for his world and for our needs that the body of Christ may be built up. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.